All right. Good blessed morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. Um, might upload this one on Tuesday, but I want to finish out the week in Ezekiel 3. Um, is what I was there to read yesterday. And some of these scriptures I'm going to read off in here are, again, right on point with the narrative um, for this time, the narrative for this week. Um, is to turn away from your wickedness, turn away from your idolatry, and turn back to the Lord thy God. Uh, for if you do so, he will forgive you, and you shall hear from heaven. You shall hear from him. Uh, he shall hear your prayers when you will, <clears throat> when you turn back to him. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I need to <clears throat> need to get some water. Uh, but this is supposed to be a real quick teaching. I wanted to touch on this video I just saw. Um, so for somebody that is going through it, you're not the only one. Um, Bless Jesus. <clears throat> Just saw a video about this uh, preacher. He's preaching. And um, I just put it on my Instagram. But he said that, you know, you know that person that hurt you, that person that lied on you, that person that cheated on you, um, they didn't understand. They didn't know. That when you gave, you gave from your heart, and they didn't know that had they come with that had they come to you with the truth, they would have been forgiven. And it hit me, it hit me so deep down in my core. I was just um, talking to God about that yesterday. Um, how happy I am now, and how much more peace that I have, and. It's something when you're married to someone and you can't sleep at night. Um, it speaks volume to the spirits that they're entertaining. So, and I remember those days. You know, I, I remember I, I could never really sleep when I was um, with this person because of the spiritual warfare that they were under, but I didn't understand spiritual warfare at that time. So I was getting attacked every which way. And I remember I was just thanking God, not only from where I'm at, but from where he's brought me to a point to where I can pray fervently for those that hurt me. I can pray fiercely for those that um, lied, cheated, and stole from me. And I can do that now because I get it. We do not battle against flesh and blood. The world isn't about this person hurts you, this person did this, this person did that. It's about saving a soul. The soul that you save, that God asks you to pray for, that God asks you to go to war for, could be the soul that could save thousands. Or it could be a soul that might go on to, I don't know, deliver nations. My point is, we do not battle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness, princes, and the powers of darkness. Prayer and fasting is so important as you walk your walk with God. Because it literally looses people. Of these spirits as we talked about in the video um, yesterday 
Jesus healed by faith. But before he went, he told his disciples greater works than he did, I shall do. He told them, you guys would do greater works than me. As he, as he, as he went on. So that's just a little sidebar. Um, I pray that that helps someone just as that video had um, helped me in my conversation with God yesterday. Helped me as well. Um to understand that the greatest gift that we have is um, being a servant unto others um, and praying for others. So, getting into scripture here, Ezekiel chapter 3. So the first scripture comes from uh, verse 11, and it reads, oh, King James Version, and it reads, and go, Get thee to them of captive of the captivity unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them and tell them, Thus saith the Lord, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So here he's saying, Give them my word, speak unto them. It is their choice whether they will hear it and receive it, or whether they will forbear it and go on about their lives being in being in and about the world. So uh, the next scripture, uh, it's actually going to be a slew of them. So it's Ezekiel 3, verse 18 through 27. So verse 18, where I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from the wicked, from his wicked way to save his life, which is what I was just talking about. You don't understand what, um, you know, even if they don't want to hear it, go speak that word into him anyway. Just like it says in verse 11, even if they, oh, what? I don't want to hear what you got to say. I don't care what you got to say. I don't, I don't care that you don't want to hear what I have to say. I'm just here to give you a message from God. That's it. It's up to you whether you listen to it or what you do with it. He didn't send me here to make you listen. He sent me here to give you the word and to go on about my business. Let's see. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at, at thine hand. Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and, and he turn not from his wicked wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul, so you've done your job by telling the wicked to turn away from his ways. Verse 20. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and committed iniquity and lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which he hath done shall not be remembered. So all the good that he done, all the righteousness that he's done to be washed away because he died in his sin. But his blood will I require at thine hands. Verse 21. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. So you've, you've delivered his soul when you, warn, when you warn him, when you warn the righteous man, and he does not sin. And my clothes are done. And the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Chibar. I fell on my face. Then the Spirit entered into me, and sat upon my feet, and spake unto me, and spake with me. And said unto me, Go, shut thyself within thine house. Now, this is how you should pray. Shut yourself into a room. You know, a, a, a lot of people say a prayer closet. I, I do a room. You know, I, my, my, you know, my bedroom. Let me, let me get in here, get on my knees. You know, start and get my word and start praying. Twenty five. But thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put hands upon thee and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. 
and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and thou and shalt not be to them of reproof, for they are a rebellious house. So verse 26, your tongue is going to cleave to the roof of your mouth. God's going to shut you up, all right? So you do not give yourself unto them for um, reproof. Verse 27, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth and thy shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, he that heareth, let him hear, but he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. So if whoever listens will listen, whoever forsakes or forbears will not listen. Sorry about that. So, um, I said, really quick scripture today. Basically, those that want to hear the word of God and that will receive it in their spirit will hear it and receive it in their spirit. No questions asked about it. Those that want to forbear it and continue on in their sin will continue to forbear it. And they'll be on their deathbed talking about how they, talking about how it shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know, they lived a life of destruction. They lived a life full of sin. Why? Because going out to the club, drinking and smoking, having all these sexual encounters with people, creating all these soul ties, uh, not listening to the word of God, dra dragging your kids all over creation, whatever, was much more better than you having, a, than, than you sitting down and just having a boring life. It was much more better than having a peace that comes with God. So, I pray the entire armor of God over you guys. I plead the blood, entire, I plead the blood of Jesus over you all as well. I also pray it over myself and my family. Um, and, of course, all of you guys that watch this video. Um, and, you know, just remember that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I love you all as well. Uh, my inbox is always open. My email will be in the description as usual. Um, I will put the scriptures in the comment section. Give me about 10 minutes to do so. And um, you guys continue to have a blessed Sunday. Um, I hope this uplifts you uh, today in case you run into any fools in their folly. So uh, take care.